Hello everyone. For this review, we're going to go over the NECA Nosferatu, a Symphony of Horror Ultimate Action Figure. This is showing up in stores. I'm not sure if this is shipping online. I lucked out and found this guy at a Target, kind of in a weird place. Really glad I did discover it and find it and bring it home. This is based on a black and white silent movie. This character is representing the first time the story of Dracula was brought to film. So it's an important movie and important character from that point of view. It is a totally creepy character, uh, and if you haven't seen the film, I would encourage you to watch it. It is a silent movie, so you're going to have to read and be patient, but great movie for its time. Even, even today, it's still, still a super creepy movie for what it is. So going over the packaging, I really like how we've got the red lettering. You know, very, you know, blood vampire type thing going on. And we've got this subdued tone to reflect the black and white roots of the movie. On top, we've got the title. On the side, we've got a really nice photo. On this side, another really nice photo. And on the back, we've got almost a homage to maybe what a movie poster might have looked like with all the different scenes that we got to see Nosferatu in. So that's it for the packaging. Let's take them out and take a look at the figure. And here's the inside where we can see the accessories in a really nice photo of the figure. So here he is out of the package. He's got a lot, I mean, a lot of accessories. Most of them are hands. So his default hands are uh, good, semi-relaxed yet dynamic. Then he's got these hands that the nails have grown. These are his attack hands, so to speak. He's got some, well, not some, he's got a holding hand, kind of a relaxed holding hand. He's got Two hands that he can hold things with closely. Then he's got a fist. He has a hat. He wears this in the movie. I believe it goes on this way. Yeah, the pointy side forward. He's got keys. The seem metallic-ish. The chain is metallic-ish. Uh, the keys, I think, are plastic. They look really good. He's got a piece of paper with writing. This is really good. On both sides. This is the deed that he signs. He's got a ink bottle and a separate quill, writing, writing ink quill. And this, I believe, is a wine flask. Let me take this hat off. 
So that default face has kind of got this bugged out, like, eh, kind of face, which he makes in the movie quite a bit. He's just like, even even when he's like trying to act normal, he's unnormal. So he's got that head. Whoops. He's got a bit more stoic face, serious. And then he's got this side-eyed face, which he makes quite a bit in the movie. So the top coat is rubber material. There is a slit in the back, which will give you some articulation. The figure in general is pretty standard NECA articulation. I won't go over it here but it's it's what you expect from NECA figures nothing nothing new the knees you know we've been getting these kind of knees with the NECA Ninja Turtle stuff so I I, I like the way they've been doing the knees with these figures um, everything else is pretty standard lots of disc joints single jointed elbow, twist at the bicep, well, twist at the elbow, sorry, um, disc and swivel in the, uh, the ankles, whoa, disc and swivel in the ankles, so pretty, pretty basic stuff for NECA. This, this figure definitely gives you a lot as far as other releases from other companies, the accessories are generally pretty similar. Um, sometimes you get like rats and wolves and stuff because there's there's some scenes in the movie. I mean, technically he's on a horse-drawn carriage at one point, so you know that would be the ultimate accessory, I think. Um, and he does have some scenes where he gets out of a coffin so maybe they'll release that as an accessory kit that'll be interesting so for comparisons here he is with the super 7 release and the mezco release definitely some big differences between these guys the super 7 release is this this particular version is homaging a black and white color scheme the sculpting is a bit more simplified and that's probably to match their their look for their other figures so think about that the mezco is a bit more stylized a bit more monstrous looking so you're getting a figure that's kind of a homage almost so, you know, there, there's a lot of differences here. If I were going to pick one out of the three, I think the NECA one stands out as far as accuracy, detailing, sculpt, uh, articulation, even, even on the accessories. Although the Mezco one has some really great accessories, the NECA one, the accessories are more realistic to what he's using in the movie. So I like that. Uh, overall, this is a really great figure. The paint apps are good. Sculpt is good. Articulation is good. So you're going you're gonna to be able to get him in some good poses. And if you're collecting the rest of these figures from NECA, you know, he's going to fit right in. That's the most important thing. So that is it for our review. Thank you for watching. Please post in the comments what you think about the figure. And until then, I'll see you next time.